if you want to know more about Mexico, about the real Mexico, not just the stereotypical Mexico. If you want to know more about long distance relationships and a little bit about my life, I invite you to keep watching this video. to see it watch it because I explain a little bit about our my situation and my situation with my fiance who is living in the United States I'm living here in Mexico and we're going through a process where we are waiting for the visa acceptance so I can go and get married there so yeah that's what we are doing but for the meantime uh, my family told me hey uh, you're leaving uh, I was living somewhere else but my family lives here in the country so uh, they told me, hey, you're gonna go and live there. Uh, we're gonna miss you so much. You should come and, and stay with us for a while and then you go. And I was like, super easy. I was like, of course I will go, right? Uh, because I love my family. So I came here to the country side of Mexico and well, it has been difficult because I'm a really, I, I love the city. I just love the city. I just love going to coffee shops. I just go, love going to uh, shop, like go shopping, uh, you know, restaurants, stuff like that. But right here, it's not that like, well, there's not a lot of things like that, you know? So it has been difficult. So that's why I wanted to come with me in this experience of waiting, because maybe you are not waiting for something like that but maybe you're waiting in something else and sometimes it's difficult so that's why i invite you and yeah so you can see all of this and you can see beautiful mexico i mean it's beautiful so let's go let's check all this place it's really nice it's really nice so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you all about it okay so let's go right now i was here where my mom uh plants all his all, all her stuff so yeah, you can see here there's some little plants you can see there look at this baby she has all of like a lot of plants i don't know what is it i don't know what's what and if you come here look there's a lot of cactuses i know you guys you don't eat cactus but here we do eat cactus we do eat cactus and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you how to prepare a cactus Okay, so uh, this is part of my house, Ooh, but there's a lot of bugs. Okay, here's one of these horrible bugs. They're everywhere. Ugh. It's gross. Look, there's another one there. Okay, we have our own cactus. Look, wish. Look, it has a lot of things, but you take it off. You take it off and then you eat it. It's really common. So now we're gonna come in. Uh, so you can see how do we prepare nopales, okay? Hey, hey, how are you? How are you, Diggy? So welcome to my house. And welcome to the kitchen. So we're gonna prepare our nopalitos. Our, our cactuses these cactuses my mom got them today in the morning and she told me hey can you take off the I don't know what's the name of it this thing well you know the stuff that hurts um, <laughs> I have to get better with my English guys but you understand me right if you know the name please uh, put it on the comments so now I know what is it Okay guys, so what you need to do your nopal is you need this cutting board, you need a knife, you need this and I know in the United States there's a lot of this thing so I know you don't eat them and me fiance he says hey like I don't really eat it and I'm like baby you're gonna eat some, I'm gonna prepare and then I even told him hey like we should plant one, it should be it would be nice that way we can cut it and prepare our smoothies and, and prepare our nopal juices and stuff but he's like no a mí no me gusta but I'm gonna make him like it okay so baby if you're watching this video I love you 
I have to get closer because so you can see. So I'll do it with the, with the fork. So with this, you put it flat. You'll put it flat and you just try to take it off. Can you see? Can you see that there's no more? Then you can turn around. But yeah. Can you see? No. Let's go to the next part. So then at the end, we just do this. We did a contour. Okay. Perfect. Mm, can you see? Now I can touch it. We're going to prepare one so you can see how it tastes. I know, guys, that you're going to be like, Uy, me no me gusta our stuff, but it's going to be nice. Okay, so we're going to prepare one uh, green juice. That's really common. So I got an orange, I got this, and I think that this is going to be great. And then uh, usually you can put like other green stuff like spinach or maybe another thing but I just got thing right now and this is what I drink sometimes uh, because I eat my greens, I eat my fruit and it's easy and quick so so you have to you know just take the take all of the skin okay perfect we took all of it off we're just gonna make them in four and then if you want un poquito, if you want un poquito, a little bit. Mm. We're gonna put all of our oranges here. And then we're gonna put the nopalito. You can slice it un poquito. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's gonna be blend. Right. We're gonna put a little bit of water. Okay, just un poco. Bueno, un poco más. Okay, now we have to put it in the blender. And are you ready? Are you ready, guys? That's it. We have the mixture. Now we're gonna put it in a glass. And you have to see the texture. I mean, it's, I don't know guys, you have to see. Okay, here we have our juice. Can you see? Okay, we have this. And let's try it. So, salud. Salud, let's try it. Mm, muy bueno. Muy rico. Deli. Mm. Has a bit of texture. I know you find it weird, guys, but it's healthy. What can I do for you? It's healthy. It's good for you. So this is the video for today. You know a little bit more about Mexico, about Mexicans. Maybe other Mexicans find it weird. I don't know, but I like this juice. I like nopales. I'm gonna show you other ways to prepare nopales. I hope you enjoyed this video so much as I did to like do it, edit it, and all of this. Uh, I hope you can learn something about everything that I'm going through, uh, about this waiting time, about this uh, uncomfortable situations where you were used to something and now you're doing another stuff. Uh, but guys, I'm with you and, and I'm, I'm going through this situation and it's been difficult. But just know that, that you're not alone. You're not alone. You are with me. You're with me, fiance, even if you don't see him right now. Maybe you're going to see him after. Maybe we can do a video call or something. We can be, uh, he can present himself. I don't know. That would be fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I know you're going to love it. And also activate the little bell. I don't know how to translate that. But yeah, just put the bell thing and then you will know when I uh, have another video just for you guys. So thank you so much. And I send a lot of uh, good vibes and happiness and everything. Thank you guys. Bye. Adios.